Hello, welcome to my fabrics in lab. Here, this is this is the cardboard substrate which is used for antenna fabrication. And the reason mainly proposed for etching. For etching purpose, I am using FECLT ferrochloride antenna feed is uh, soldering by the soldering and soldering station. And the feed is inserted to the substrate using this a drill bit the drill bit i am using here 0 0.3 to 1.6 mm thick of uh, pin and this is the one year caliper i can measure the dimension of antenna by adding in this okay and after measuring this the pcb was measured and calculated using this rule and in this i point out this thing then it will be cut through this hacksaw. Hacksaw is used for cut, cutting the holes. This SM connector is used for feeding the uh, feeding the antenna. And this cello tape used used in the substrate where the etching is not required. The big stuff substrate is cutting to the small pieces as for our requirement for fabrication the antenna. For aging purpose, we require I require a solution. Okay, the solution is made of very chloride and water. And for aging, the solution and creating the solution. This is um, some plain water in here. And after that, I some very for it yeah. and set this to dilute the solution is the solution is prepared for the uh, PCB scene. Some of the air antennas, which is fabricated and designed by me. This is a newly developed antenna, micro strip antenna. This is, uh, this is a single layer micro strip antenna which can designate at three band, multi band, and with circular and linear polarization. And this is antenna, this is a dual layer antenna. This antenna can propagate, uh, this is a dual layer antenna. This can resonate at two different frequency and having better circular polarization in both of the uh, resonant. This is the SMA connector, which is uh, the fading point by coaxial cable. This is, this is the ground frame, which is fully metal, and this is the antenna fields.